My name is Diane Gray. Uh, I was born in Ohio. I went to New York to work with Martha Graham, and I, I really, uh, after I finished the school at the Juilliard School, I started studying with Martha Graham, and I, I danced in her company. <clears throat> I became a soloist in her company. Uh, I became a teacher in her school. I, I eventually was the director of her school, and then I was one of the associate artistic directors of the Martha Graham Dance Company. So I, you know, I sort of had experience in a lot of different areas of, of the dance world through her. Well, Heretic, 1929, um, was conceived and first performed in a very interesting time in New York, full of all kinds of things happening politically, socially, um, economically, there was a, a, a large population of immigrants that had come in from uh, what would become the Soviet Union. So there was a lot of people that had ideas about communism and how if they can do it, we can do it, and let's try it here too. So there was that element of people which were um, driven, driven by this uh, spirit of let's do it, we can do it. There was also women's suffrage which gave half of our population a voice, which they hadn't had before. Um, there was, you know, we were getting in economic trouble. I mean, it was a very, very, uh, I like to think of it as a very fertile time for artists. You know, a lot of different, art, different arts. I think the fertility of the time was what gave Martha Graham, uh, made it possible for her to find her voice. Uh, she would have found it anyway, but that was just absolutely the, the fertile ground that she needed. And so she established a company of very strong female dancers from the beginning. Um, later on, she added men who were also wonderful and strong, but it was, it was not really about women. It was just about the spirit of, huma of being human, you know, and it happened to be they were women. And that's, that's been something that went, has gone all the way through all of her work that she did all her life is that that spirit to to be different to be yourself to be American or to, to be you know and she she was because it's so simple you know it, it's not it's like if you buy a very classically tailored suit you can wear it for you know years and years and years but if you buy something real trendy you know next year it's going in the trash that's the same thing you know her work was so pared down that it just doesn't lose its time, you know, it, it makes it timeless. It doesn't go out of style, you know, it, because it has to do with people. It has to do with how we all, what's inside of us all, you know, and that's what always attracted me about her work. And, uh, you know, there are many people that don't choose to feel that way about dance, but that, that's what I liked about it. And that's why I chose to, you know, work with her. Point Park, this is a wonderful dance department. First of all, it's gigantic. And you know, I know you have auditions all over the country and maybe out of the country, I don't know. But um, you know, you already start off with the raw material that's above and beyond. You know, you got very talented students here. The faculty is wonderful. You have excellent people in the, the modern department. I mean, as I've mentioned, Judith Leifer, whose background is Graham also. She's a wonderful teacher. I've watched her teach her classes. She's a wonderful teacher. Um, and she ha she's a very sensitive teacher in terms of coaching uh, and making something theatrical happen, even if it's just in class, you know. Uh, I, I know that the ballet teachers are very good. I, you can tell because you look at these kids performing, and they're fantastic. You know, they're so responsive. They, you know, you, you give them a little bit, and they not only re remember it the next time, but they bring more to it, and that's unusual. And that, combined with the fact that God has given you wonderful facilities and enough, you know, enough of a budget to really do wonderful things and to have very interesting guest artists come and work. And the kids are disciplined. They, uh, you know, it's, it's set up nicely so that everybody's not all over the board. You know, you pick, you pick somebody for this one and somebody for that one so they can benefit from working on one or two things instead of ten different things and spread themselves all over the place. But they, you know, it makes it much more valuable to them as, as growing artists to be able to really focus on something. And uh, they're, they're very fortunate to have such a program as this because it's, it's unusual. I mean, I've had a wonderful experience here at Point Park twice, uh, working on Graham things and, you know, how receptive the kids are and, and the dancers are, are so intelligent and so uh, well-trained, uh, very conscientious, very focused. It's a very nice experience here.